people. So if me and you, we go to Addis Ababa yeah. and uh. we don't have a lot of money spent on hotels, so we get a twin room, mm. will they follow us? Yeah, they're cracking. Them, Probably. For sure. That's how I was about to watch it. It's never in the plan. <laughs> then after tagline into the building will be welcome to, welcome to the upside of life. <laughs> it has to be. Wow. It has to be. We are never making that, it out of the hood. We are never making it out of the hood. I swear when we have a packed building. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me use an actual product that people can relate, mm-hmm. can relate to, right? So if I work at um, this thing, who I won't well, mention, but your if you ba- know, your your you, 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 you say you know, know what I mean. Your wife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Your side chick. <laughs> wife near Rimis. This is, this is the Park of Podcast. This is the Brunch Club. Over 26. The Park of Podcast. The mics are closed. Cool. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. What up, what? my name is Chaxi V, mastermind. Your main guy, V, Lord Chaxi, the beautiful Mariah is around. The amazing moss is around. The whole gang is around. Episode 87. We are Mark Chuck. Yes, yeah, sir. Did you missed that, huh? I know. <laughs> Why does it feel like we haven't recorded in a while? Right? Because we haven't recorded in a while. Which is exactly a week exactly from now. Exactly one week, yeah. Anyway, so shout out to, we have a new member, man, on YouTube. Yes, yeah, exactly. Lovely. It's uh, Basil. Or is it Basil? How do you pronounce Basil. it? It's Basil. Yeah. Basil. Ba- Basil. No. Basil. Bukoma. Shout out to you. And then we have a new Patreon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, the patron's mm. name is Jordan Inan. Mm. And then we have a patron who's, who, we have a patron who subscribed and never paid for anything ever since. His name is Samuel Mwangi. What am I saying? Maybe the way you know him Okay. Mwangi is the most common kikuyu name ever. So. <laughs> so we have Jordan Inan, we have Basil, we have Goldrick Karanja, Richard Maloa, Joanne Wambue. As our members. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. So, Mwangi, you're shenanigan. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Love it. You, you report yourself, Ama, we report you. But, Aye, anyway, I, so let, let's begin with last, last evening, Kwanzaa. So, you guys went GP cutting. Yes. And you were the last guy. Ah, <laughs> no, 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 no. Mwangi no. finished on the podium. So loser. Listen, you finished on the podium as the third person out of four, and the fourth guy got a DNF. DNF. That means he didn't. <laughs> dis- he was disqualified. I mean, like he got an accident no. or something, so mm-hmm. he didn't finish. So, so in short, you were number So you were the first from the last. We did two hits, so we were seven to begin with. <laughs> what? The first hit we did, we were seven of us. Mm-hmm. We get off the mark. Yeah. Kidogo, me, I'm just going around the track. I find like four accidents. <laughs> Okay. So we are three on the track. Because <laughs> my friends are coming into the corners too hot. Psh, outside. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, hey, I'm sorry. I love you know you can't help them because we are being competitive. Yeah. I'm like, hey, Lisa, I love you, but uh, <laughs> nah, I just wave and go. I'm like, I'll call for help. <laughs> so when I get to the main place where the guys were, I'm like, ah, kuna to me anguko koko. Yeah. Every lap, kuna to me anguko koko. <laughs> Every lap, corner seven. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm super competitive. My cousin is super con- competitive. Our friend Aizo, who won everything. Yeah. Aizo was yeah, correcting us when overtaking. He's definitely the super competitive yeah. Aizo, <laughs> Aizo, Aizo, <laughs> Let me tell you, <laughs> there's, a, there's like a straight path. Yeah. So when it happened, though, you flat out. Yeah. Aizo was even putting his head down. I'm asking, why are you putting your head down? You can't even see the road. Mm-hmm. He's like, Ati, you know, CG for maximum effect of CG uh, in Asia. Shut <laughs> up. And I find I'm a physics minky. I'm like... <laughs> Shut up. I just keep your staring straight and head low. Ah. I'm like, nah. So what position did you finish, Mangi? Missionary. <laughs> 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 no, so I was positioned. I was positioned. No, we are heading there. No, no we I was positioned three. We are heading there. We are heading there. Position? <laughs> we are heading there. Your position? position three. <laughs> Out of? <laughs> so the three guys who crashed. <laughs> So we are four of us who finish. <laughs> it's giving them no, a no, The fourth guy had a DNF. No? Oh, oh, four guys crashed, so three of us finished. And so all position? of us were on the podium. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all that matters. <laughs> so it was Isaac, Isaac, Ted, and myself. <laughs> but the times. So Izo had the best, no, Ted had the best time, best fastest lap. Mm-hmm. That's so fastest yeah. lap, yeah. but not the best time. Best time was Izo. that was Isaac, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then Ted, and then myself. So Izo, I think, had... Like one minute and thirty seconds are across. Yeah. Damn. Ted had a one twenty eight, mm-hmm. and then I had a one three one. Like to cut me a channel two seconds. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let me tell you. Aye, aye, aye. If it's a best lap, best time, who is the best? Best position three. <laughs> 
So a difference of around two seconds. Yeah. Okay, now let's go to. But which is a lot in racing. It is true. So yeah. now let's go to actual a lot of seconds. I... So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Cinema only. you do it. Cinema only. Uh, to you, you, go, you, go, like, this Cinema is, only. You, said, you already said you finished the dictionary. You might as well just tell us the whole tea. Yeah. There's no so tea. let's talk about actual missionary mm-hmm. that you finished in. Yes. Oh, so Christians, you know, like for example, <laughs> <laughs> missionary, missionaries came to Kenya around 1895. Oh, no. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> let's move on to actual stories. <laughs> no. <laughs> when, this is an actual story. Where is that the juice? That matters. <laughs> we are happy uh-huh. for you, Moa. Yeah. So I'll give you clues. Uh-huh. So childhood friend. <laughs> Ginyo <laughs> mse, <the fuck>? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what this guy is talking about. So what happened? Bro? Yeah. <laughs> When was this? I Where was the setting? I, re- I reconnected with a childhood friend, and it was so fun. Mm, and, they were truly in touch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you went <laughs> soul digging. <laughs> 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 So basically, yeah, we we just shared childhood memories. It yeah. was fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your soul was touched. Spreading the word in Thailand. <laughs> I don't know what agenda this is. <laughs> Did you get hard this week? No. <laughs> oh, what? I got hard this week, of course, every day. <laughs> okay, yeah. Every but at day. least, but now for for a while, you your your hardness got some action. True. What action? Prezo let Prezo action and let the action the second. <laughs> You got a Looking for my pres- name, baby. Jackson. Jackson. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, um, auntie, me, 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 I'm leaving this entirely to you because I could move on. See, two songs, me, you sour. For real? <laughs> you let him slide and then he grilled you when you talked about the best <laughs> sex experience you had. That's what you call me. I'm nice. Long is Andy. All right, so uh, <laughs> if Mariah has pardoned you, me, me, I'm easy to move. Just let it slide. <laughs> anyway. I know someone who did it. Okay. <laughs> My goodness. So yeah. I need you guys to guess. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, um, Africa Fact Zone on Twitter okay. posted the most Googled African countries by other countries. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I'll name a I country. I want you to guess which country is the most Googled in that country, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, let's begin with, with Kenya. What do you think is the most Google country in Kenya? South Africa. I think that South Africa, Nigeria, one of the two. Yes, yeah, actually, it actually is South Africa. Interesting. Mm. The most Google country in Kenya is South Africa. I feel like I have a cheat code because I see that map in my mind. Mm. What is the most Google country in Uganda, though? Kenya. Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> Those guys are obsessed. Obsessed. Uh, the most Google country in Tanzania. Kenya. <laughs> of course. It's Kenya, yeah. Kenya is the most Google country in Tanzania, Kenya. yeah. <laughs> Uh, the most Googled country in Somalia. Kenya. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Kenya is the most yeah, Googled country. Yeah, where can I find asylum? Yeah. Uh, the most Googled... <laughs> <laughs> no, you just <laughs> didn't say that. It's true, though. It's true. It's true, though. Mm. So, um, so I'm going to pick some of the interesting countries, right? So which is the most Googled country in South Africa? Ooh, that's interesting. Mm. Nigeria. South Africa. In South Africa, the most Google country. South, South Africa. Africa. They Google themselves. What country is this, man? What flag is, is it? Let me see the flag. Let's see. At the bottom here. Uh, that's like Zimbabwe. Isn't that Zimbabwe? Looks Zimbabwe. like Mozambique, is Zimbabwe. No. Zimbabwe. Let me see. That's actually... It's giving Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. It's giving Zimbabwe. Looks Zimbabwe. like... Okay, Nigeria. What is the most Google country in Nigeria? Nigeria. Those guys are so self-absorbed. <laughs> South Africa. <laughs> It's South Africa. <laughs> no way. It's South Africa, yeah. It's South Africa. I'd, I'd assume because of the music, maybe. Okay. I think so. Yeah. It's, uh, actually, South Africa is the most Google country in Nigeria. How about And Egypt? South Africa is the most Google country in Africa. Egypt. South Africa is the most Googled? Yeah. Actually, South Africa yeah, is the cause... most Google country. Yeah. I see a lot of yeah. South African flag here. The most, oh yeah, then Egypt is another big country in Africa. The most Google country in Egypt. <laughs> US. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say Nigeria. <laughs> It's Algeria. I'm Algeria. not surprised. Algeria is the most Google country. Are they bordering each other? Egypt, no, uh, there's, uh, there's, there's Libya. Moro- there's Li- Libya yeah. in between. In between okay. them, okay. Yeah, so Moro- Egypt, oh. Libya, then Algeria. Then the most Google country in Algeria is Tunisia. I'm not surprised. Do you know? Who could Google? Is it, oh, is it in <laughs> North, uh, North America? Well, uh, we are not Africans. Yeah. <laughs> But guess, the last one, guess the most Google country in Ethiopia. You, just, you just said that. Somalia. Ethiopia, no. Ethiopia and Somalia are two different countries. I know. Yeah. Most Google country in Ethiopia is Somalia. Yes. Somalia. Yeah. Somalia Ethiopians is the most Google, Google Somalians. Yeah. That's porn. <laughs> <laughs> See, like how we said Nigeria and, and South Africa is music. Yeah. But they're like sisters and brothers. It would make sense that yeah. one. 
that they are. Yeah. yeah, but I'm like, they are the prettiest East African, both of them. Probably, honestly, the Somali, the Somali, the Ethiopian, yeah. um, and Somali women I've seen, most of them are very beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Like very beautiful. It's like Rwanda. Even Rwanda Uganda has Burundi. very beautiful women. Even the men. In all those countries you've mentioned. The men are beautiful. Yeah. Because you know how sometimes you can see Ume Slice you now. Ume Slice you, Alafu like, what did you see in him? But this one you're like, I see what you saw in him. Nah. <laughs> For real. Mm-mm. Ethiopia has some of the most beautiful men I've ever seen in my life. Men, Ethiopia. no. That's yeah. debatable. I'd say, I'd say, okay, I'd say I'd run, 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 no. I'll show you guys pictures after the show. Okay, all the four. Cumulatively <laughs> 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 make the four, most. Four countries and four humans. <laughs> four humans. <laughs> okay. But then, so fun fact about Namibia that I found online. Namibia is one of the world's emptiest countries. Yeah. It has a bigger landmass. Because you've covered Namibia, Namibia a bunch of yes. times. A landmass than 39 African countries, but has a population of 2.6 million. Bro. Like wow. n- even Nairobi, the population Nairobi of Nairobi, Nairobi itself people, is yeah. bigger yeah. than the population like of the whole country. Times. On Sundays, towns seem like ghost towns. Often, often you drive for an hour straight without seeing another car. What? What? You might be the only customer in a bar. How That's cool sad. is that? Oh, okay. me, I want to move. Yeah, me, I love that. Imagine Dorime tu peke yako adi. Join! What the hell? Imagine me. Being, being, being the only customer in the bar and still getting bad service. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think way, it's bad like, service. Where's my chicken? It's, it's being made. <laughs> <laughs> the chef at Jakuja, because imagine if you're the only one. Yeah. Truly. But truly. I, had, I, I read somewhere that they probably use like 5 or 10% of the country. Bro, that's like crazy. Bro. Like, I really, really want to see Namibia. And also, Namibia is beautiful as fuck. Truly. Bro. And expensive. And to the, go men, to. Also, the men, they're also. Isn't that expensive? Fine. Like $2,000, bro. I saw like one of those, what do you call them? The tour, or whatever's yeah. itinerary. Yeah, but that, that is all inclusive. I'm guessing. Yeah, but that's still 300 Gs, bro. That's doable. To go to, can, to a country just a few thousand kilometers down. It's but true. if it that, that that includes a return ticket, includes accommodation, yeah. I'm sure they're gonna take you around uh, to the desert. Makes there's, sense. There's the bit there's where the desert lot. meets the ocean. Chalbi. Mm. Chalbi's in Kenya. <laughs> why, is, <laughs> why? Why is dra- <laughs> it's called the Namib Desert? It's right it's there. Called the Namib. It's right there. Yeah. To a beer a big yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why is traveling in Africa so expensive? When it's yeah, traveling know, within Africa is very expensive, bro. Yeah, my, my friend, my friend has a friend who's getting married in Burundi, mm-hmm. and the ticket back is a thousand dollars. Why the ticket? Imagine one, That's the flight ticket. Why? What one fifty k to go to Burundi? To Burundi is that? But but then I'm assuming that you going to another country. Then I don't think we have direct flights to Burundi, do we? But I don't still, know. that doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't. But yeah, we make one fifty k. Can go to New York truly comfortably. Really, the flight ticket to maybe New York an extra, maybe twenty k. Not one fifty, bro. <laughs> it can't be one fifty. But you see the it's distance; it makes sense. Seventeen hours. It makes sense. Yeah, but it can't be 150. It has to be <laughs> Burundi, you can drive down. Burundi, you can drive down. Anyway, let's get into what happened this week, right? So Tory Lenz has been sentenced to 10 years in jail for shooting and injuring Megan the Stallion. Good stuff. <sighs> what do you mean? No, it's just unfortunate, but hey. Unfortunate. It's, it's very unfortunate. It's unfortunate. For me, like, all this, all this was uncalled for. Like, why did you have to shoot? As You get what I mean? It's why is he not an American for. citizen? He's a felon. He has an unregistered weapon in a car. How he, How is he not an... He, he is an American citizen. No, he's Baba Kesi and she, Baba Kesi and no. no, the dad is of Kenyan origin, but I think Tori was born and raised in the States. That he's, makes him American. He's not okay, an yeah. American citizen. You're an American citizen if you're By born in the, in the US, yeah. bro. Let me just Google right now. You are. So say he has issues with his documentation or not, but he's American. He is a citizen. Unless he was not born in America. So if he was born elsewhere, then probably. Maybe he was born but in a place. But in America, the law, you, you are a citizen what, if you're born by birth. I'm just Googling. Yeah. So it's it's very unfortunate. Of course, for many reasons. One, Tory, Tory is a, is a he's dope musician. He's talented, you know? really. And he's very young and he's black. Yeah. So to be caught in bullshit like, like this, this yeah. it's that, that man. sees him locked for 10 years, is definitely sad to see. I mean, yeah. that's not what you wish on people like Tory who, uh, if you think about the effect of just his career, the mm-hmm. people his career employs, yeah. you know, right from his uh, people he works with, from 
the tours, everything from yeah. the music. Of course, it's very unfortunate. These yeah. are not people you want to see Go, locked up. behind, you know, behind Judy. bars. I found an article, but it doesn't say much. It says much, but it doesn't say much. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole article. It's titled, Is Tory Lanez an American Citizen? And then it's 400 words of nothing. Nah, so we're not reading that. Yeah. Anyway, so by principle, you're a citizen by birth. Yeah, anywhere. Yeah. So if Tory was born there, he is. If he yeah. wasn't, then probably he's not. But mm-hmm. I think Tory is. What's he doing with an unregistered weapon in his car? Why is he brandishing it? Why is he shooting people because they're arguing? Yeah. And then and then I feel like 10 years is too little. I don't know if it's little or not. I don't know how the law works there. Mm. The th- I think me, I'm so it's it's more of um how sometimes people have a double standard on the law. Like yeah. you cry about the law when no, you praise the law when it favors you. Yeah. And then you don't does, hold the same energy it. when it doesn't favor you. Yeah. Whether and it's the same thing we're talking about the other time mm. we're talking about rape and uh, Benjamin Mendy. Mm. Yeah. Is that two facts could exist at the same time? He yeah. probably did whatever he was accused of, but yeah. he was not found guilty. Yeah. So now this so this time around now, are you going after the law saying, Oh, oh you should have sentenced him? Truly. The same same law mm-hmm. that um um that you praise a lot when R. Kelly is convicted. Yeah. So no no you we, we like the point of the law is to standardize things. True. So you either choose to respect it or not. True. Mm-hmm. So for Tori, I'm just like, one, he's in a position where um, he's a rich guy. So in a, in, he's in a position to have security, including yeah. private security, right? Yes. So there's absolutely no reason why Tori should be holding a gun that is unlicensed. But also, there's absolutely no reason why Tori should be handling guns. Yeah. Mm. Like, there's people that you can hire professionals that can, can do that. And absolutely no reason for shooting people in your car. Truly. And we are friends. <laughs> one of one of because he talks about how close they were yeah. at the time. Megan. Yeah. So this and then is, he went on Twitter to just like when yeah, he got the up. accusation started. Yeah, and he was yeah, like, he was "Oh, these guys are acting like, oh, like I'm gonna go to jail." Rare, I'm never gonna go to jail. To jail. All this is shit. And then he incriminated himself with all these phone calls. Which phone calls? Plus the, calling the Megan's calls, best yeah. friend. Yeah, there oh, really? was a, yeah, yeah, there was a lot of... Saying that I'm sorry for shooting her, Jenny. It was a straight case. For yeah. real? Yeah. yeah, actually, it was in the cell that they had this conversation with the yeah. best friend. And I'm like, dude, everybody knows the And then she's like, jail. is she okay? Is Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Dude. So he actually said that? Yeah. yeah. The oh. night that he was arrested, he, he actually did not tell her, I'm sorry, da 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 telling the best mad. friend to come and oh. testify like against and say that he wasn't, you know, like he didn't yeah. shoot... Same and way, way. It was just a lot of drama. Actually offered money to the someone. Best friends, yeah. Yeah, to say that he to was lie in court. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's so many offenses. Really? Unregistered weapon, tampering with witnesses, shooting someone. Ten Being years shot. Is very <laughs> but even even the fact that you could shoot someone who's a friend. You know, it's crazy. Twice. twice. <laughs> it's not Did the first you... one miss or no, he shot him twice. Shot her twice. No, he fired no. twice, can you but imagine, it only went Can you imagine how scary foot. this is for Megan, bro? Like, this is someone... Because a, a personal friend who you yeah. enjoy quality time with is someone you trust. Truly. Then if they fire a gun at you, bro, that's so scary. Mm. Twice. Me imagine if I'm... If we're in Chuck's Man! Your mom has a gun. Me, I'm dropping yeah. <laughs> This dude played himself. I'm like, Mama and Kojoy. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and run. I'm out of there. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, it's yeah. unfortunate. No, that's very unfortunate. It's like... Uh, no one is above the law anyway. He let him just do what he needs to do. Mm. Man, I, I, wish, I, I wish we had the same applying to Babo, you know, bro. Yeah. Like, genuinely. Unfortunate. The law, the law Welcome to Africa. Ah, oh, shit. I mean, I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get the video. Are you trying to call to Relins? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <In jail. laughs> no. I'm not... Um, I'm trying to get the video of Marcy Tarus. Tarus, yes, Marcy mm-hmm. Tarus. Um, so Auntie, yeah. give, give us the context. I'll get the video mm-hmm. just now. Um, so this chick, yeah. um, they were having like a forum, I think, where this um, so it was like students and parents, mm. and apparently there was a. I don't want to call it a fundraising, but it was more like guys were being told to give money. Mm-hmm. And the governor, the deputy governor and the senator were going to help these students um, go abroad, kufanya, like their degrees and their mm-hmm. masters and whatever. So parents have sold land. Mm-hmm. You know, ev- like everything in between, you can get money. So these guys, like a total of all the students was 957 million. Nine close, to a billion. 900, close to a billion. Literally. Yeah. And these yeah. guys have done absolutely nothing. Oh, and then I saw like at the last bank balance was 1.8 million. 
1.8 million. Yes. Bank balance of what? Of that account from 957 that is to 1.8. So basically 99% of it can be traced, yeah. So and so so who are um, what is it called? Who are the signatories to this account? Governor, deputy governor, senator. So basically the county government. Yes. So this was a project by the county government. Yes. So was in Gishu yes. to send kids to Canada. Yeah, in Finland. In Finland, yeah. So the kids who are already there, of course, some of the money went to the fees directly, mm. but some of the kids were in Finland and Canada being deported because the papers are not right. Yeah, yeah, they have arrears in fees, all that shit. Whew. Okay, so this clip is about two minutes, mm. but I think we should play it. Yeah. Let me. Okay, I have it. So this is Masita Rose, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First of all, we met Twitter meeting. Sisi na wazaziwetu. Uh, can you pump the volume a little bit? So this is Masita Rus um, mm-hmm. confronting the governor, Senator Governor B, Senator Mandago, and DG Barorot. I don't mm-hmm. know what does DG mean. Deputy, Deputy governor. governor. Deputy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, First of all, we met Twitter meeting. Sisi na wazaziwetu. Mkasema meeting ni nine a.m. Number one. Mulifika sangapi. Probably you don't expect me to ask such a question, but these are the people that you elected you for you to serve them. I may seem very foolish in front of you, considering I am very young. Guga, hajakula kitu, tangu asubui. Tumeleta wazazi wetu ni wagonjwa, wengine wakona pressure, wengine wakona diabetes, wengine wakona depression, Mr. Chelilu nilisoma na watoto wako watatu. Nataka nikuulize swali moja. Unajua dawa ya depression? Do you know any antidepressant? You don't. Nilisoma na Berry B. Ako UK saa hii tukiongea. Nilisoma na Brainerd ako Australia. Nilisoma na Bill ako Australia. Tulisoma primary. Mr. Barorot, tukikuwa meeting, ulituambia kuna watoto wako wengine wako maju. Ukasema ati, ukambia wa parents. Parents, siyo watoto wote ni wetu. Siyo wote ni wetu. Ako wapi mtoto wa Barorot hapa asimame? <laughs> Ako wapi wabi? Ako wapi mtoto wa mandago? No leader here. Now you have decided we are going to personalize things. Mr. Baroro, tunajua dawa ya depression. Do you know any antidepressant of your mind? Any antidepressant? No. Mr. Mandago, any antidepressant? Do you know any antidepressant? No. Very good. Kuna students hapa wako on antidepressants. I want you to go, just for information's sake, muende, mugu gulata dawa ya, ya depression ni nini. Some of us are on antidepressants. Nilimaliza shule 2021 I graduated from Kabarak University <laughs> Your daughter graduated from Riara University Pro- Oh I thought I have the full clip It was so unfortunate at the end where she says yeah, if you want even yeah, you can kill me send your guns to kill There's me because nothing I much want to, to live myself, for yeah. anyway Did you get I thought I had the full clip because I I think there's just like a few seconds we missed Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, I don't think I have it then. Okay, anyway. I think I've watched that clip like five times this week. Me too. Like that is I the realest see. thing I've seen in a very long time. Yeah, I don't think, okay. I don't think I have the full clip. And there are some fine. politicians defending the government of Wasingeshu. Kina Ledama. Yeah. So Ledama, <laughs> Ledama, so, uh-huh. Ledama is the senator for? Is Na- Narok. 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 Senator Narok County, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, he posts, Masita Rus, I would like you to work for me. Speak your heart. Uh, the future belongs to candid youth. Let's talk. Mm. Apparently, this is what guys are saying, that this is a response from Masi. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's official, mm-hmm. but that is what everyone is saying. Mm-hmm. The response uh, reads, Mr. Ledama, before we can further this conversation, talk to your fellow senators to bring the Uwasengishu County government to book. Mm-hmm. and compel them to refund rightfully and hard earned money to the citizens of Kenya maybe then we can talk otherwise i have nothing more to say 
Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's if it's true. I think I saw she was on the news. I think that's what she actually said. Oh, so this was quoted yeah, from. yeah. Okay. Has there been any progress since? No, I don't think so. How how do you recover one billion shillings? It's already in property in Kilimanjaro. You, re- you recover you recover it from mm-hmm. the. I mean, it's simple, bro. This is money that went to a bank. There's a digital footprint of yeah. how the money was Most dispersed from truly. the bank, right? Yeah. So you recover it from those people. But of so course, if it says 10 million uh, went to senator, whatever, whatever, then just have to be held accountable. <laughs> yeah. If 40 property. million went to someone else, mm. then it has to be recovered. If it can't be recovered, a lot of these politicians own a lot of assets from yeah. public funds. Yeah. You freeze that. I mean, if the government wants to recover money, they can. Bro. It will. Like yeah. literally in a day, they can recover all this money. That's true. If they want to. But will they? They won't. Because I saw also like Sakaja. Do you see Sakaja's response to some babe? No. no. The, the babe who was telling, um, he's been tagging him for a full year about pipeline and the sewage situation. Sorry. Sorry, mm-hmm. sorry. Yeah. And then Sakaja is like, this processes take time, procurement has to be followed. And it's been one year. So you're saying, Ati, we need time. Ati, we can't just fast track something because you, you treat me every day. But then it's been one year. Can procurement get in a take one year fast track with you? I don't know. I don't know. Cause, I, cause also, cause also, I'm assuming when it comes. Okay, I don't know. I have I don't have a lot of insights in how maybe this works. But I'm assuming if it's uh, the responsibility of the county government, yeah, they have. I'm sure it's not the only road they're working on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause anyway, also on the flip side, every day there's new roads that are being yeah. constructed. Even when you drive around Nairobi, you'll see a lot of roads that are being constructed. Yeah. So is it genuinely going to be constructed? Probably. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's true. Cause. I don't think they are also they are, they also have the capacity to make all the roads all at once. But know, I don't like, think, I don't think it's a about full year of procurement. Pipeline, pipeline was it for the trash? I'm a, was it, it was the, the sewage. So so the yeah. sewage yeah. and the road. Yeah. the road. So it's both the road and the sewage because ah. they run concurrently. No, because surely how how long that what time do you need to fix a sewer? So I don't you understand. Know. But that sounds nasty, bro. But even you know even them giving us like a progress report. This is, yeah, like this is how far we've gone. How... Accountability, yeah. bro. But now he's never a... gonna fix that shit. That's Facts. why. <laughs> so people like Marcy kind of give you hope, mm-hmm. uh, because but because you don't. It's not often that you see very young people really hold their leaders yeah. to account, account especially yeah. on their faces. Mm. A lot of times people will complain online. Then when they meet Sakaja, they just lick his kisses. Uh-huh. As, you know, in person, uh-huh. you don't see people really hold people accountable. Truly. We have media. So, uh, we, uh, how many times do I see the media with the president, mm. and then they really don't press him on yeah, on, real, on real questions? You know, then, so happened, going, then on air is when you want to greet us. Yeah. I hold right up. Yeah, bro. It's, it's going to be bro. the obvious questions, and yeah. then he'll give you. An obvious answer, and then that's you just move it. on. Do you know we have a liar for a president? Of course, you have liars every for everyone. Politicians. Ruto, every time I've seen Ruto on mm-hmm. air, he's just lying. <laughs> <laughs> you me, I, like, said, I like that he lies with confidence. He said, <laughs> he said that. What, what did he say about doctors <laughs> recently? There's a clip making rounds yeah. where he's saying that I think for every 10 or 5 homes, there's going to be one doctor. Boy, bye. <laughs> have you guys seen that clip? Boy, he's making rounds on Twitter. He's from a previous administration that imported doctors from Cuba. Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> because we don't have enough doctors. Yeah, when we have a lot of doctor graduates who, who are like six months in arrears salary-wise. Yep. That's Can you go crazy. six months without a salary? How? How? In this but, economy, how? But also the thing that really yeah. annoys me is that each time, like I was, I saw Kin- Kindiki, mm-hmm. um, there's a clip of Kindiki, Giving out um, money, I think like two million donation mm. in bags. Why do they carry money in bags? No paper trail. For, no for paper trail. Yeah. So where is this money from? Exactly. From the government. But why is it in bags? No paper trail. I know, <laughs> but I'm just like, why? Why in bags? Like it's it's, it's weird. <laughs> and also, why 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 are we giving out handouts all the time instead of fixing actual mm. problems? Like now there's a guy, there's a, there's a, I don't remember who exactly, but I saw this on Twitter, mm. that now they've employed like 25 youth to start cleaning Nairobi River. Yeah. 25? So, yeah, 25. Yeah. Even if you hire... So I had duty, there was a crocodile in there. <laughs> How a crocodile can't survive, survive Nairobi River. Well. It's true. Nairobi but, River is full of sewage. But also, so what is the point? Even if you hired 1 million youth to clean Nairobi River, what is the point of cleaning a river whose... When there's a lot of properties that just drain into the river, yeah. you know, it's like someone. Why not, why not close the drainages? <laughs> no. why, why not crack down on the people who are dumping things yeah. in Nairobi That's River? True. Yeah, it's honestly, it's just like someone. It's like someone. It's like it's like hiring people 
every single day yeah. to just clean the dust in Nairobi. I'm like, you have <laughs> to fix the sauce. But there are people who actually hire to clean but I'm the sorry, dust. But you have to fix the sauce though. Because <laughs> yeah. what's the point of cleaning a river when almost every dirty. single property in Nairobi still drains Dumps, into, the, yeah. into, into the river? Truly. So this, we are, we are, we are actually just playing first value. Yeah. And, it doesn't solve the And issue. there's proof because exactly where it drains into the river, you can just follow back to the house. <laughs> yeah. Like this Valley. drain pipe leads to this house Chaksi Towers. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, Chaksi, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. But my tower is just a pact. It's kind of packed. Anyway, so... Are, are you packing towers? <laughs> <laughs> I've got packing no. lot in Odessa. Are you packing? I'm going to like, Gary Kubo inside, Gary Ndogo. Those who are packing, Imagine. park here. <laughs> If you're not parking, park out. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's a nice name for building. The city of Pact. Just the shape of the building. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, not KACC, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and the architect for KACC was so funny. I know, he's, I know. He, he's the donkey. I, I, the do, the do, the, 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 the penis, penis of, of a the donkey. donkey. <laughs> and then he did this. <laughs> and you're all like, uh, okay. But anyway, so it's mm. fine. Let them do what they need to do, bro. Yeah. But I'm like, at least, first thing is fix the drainage. No, yeah. fix the sewerage system in Nairobi. Yeah. Make no, it pipeline, especially. Make it, yeah, hey, that, pipe- that place is a uh, Just make mess. it illegal to dump your sewage in the river. It's first already thing. illegal. So enforce it's implementation. It. Yeah, enforce. Enforce. Yeah, and then and enforce yeah. simple too. And then now start cleaning the river. Really... So there's no more dumping. So you can clean whatever is there. Then yeah. you have a clean river. Yeah. I don't think the river will ever be clean. Truly. It can be. It can. Yeah. I don't think it will. True. Because they're not gonna do anything about it. You think Sakaja will sit down and be like, oh, let's do something about this? No. Man. He's gonna be on TV drinking tea and crying. No, but I had That's this like, like a, I had this like a whole business behind Nairobi River being like that. Same way with um this dumping site. Where is it? Dandora. Yes. Mm. There's there's actually people who run proper, proper businesses those are because called, of those, those sites. Those, that, that is what cartels. They, that's what they call cartels. Mm. But mm. that's what yeah. I'm saying. Is in as much as trust me, it's not even about that he policies or do what there's profit. You can't mess with that business. You can't. You see, if you're the ma- government, you can. You can't. Yeah, can. No, a government, you, you can't. Can. Can. What do you mean? You, as a government. Government, you can. Ah, yeah. The government can do whatever the government really wishes. Yeah, you know? but simple. They, they won't. But they won't. True. Because the same guys you expect to do something about it are the profiteers. That's yeah. why it's not happening. And they're getting yeah, kickbacks from these guys. You think whoever is running the Andorra, the dump site, is not giving back to the MCA? Trust, he's whatever. giving a yeah. lot. Yeah. Yeah. So if they want to fix it, they can, bro. And yeah. imagine, even without going on... Like on paper, if if like the president says it or the governor, they have the mm. power to literally even verbally fix it. Yeah, verbally, bro. They can put like uh, what do you call those things? The tractors and whatever mm. to pick the trash. They, bro, they, they can clean Same it. Same day, yeah. They can clean it, and they have the resources to do it. Mm. You see, my, my 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 dilemma with Sakaja is that when when you look at Sakaja, Sakaja to me looks like the guy who knows what needs to be done mm. and has the will to do it. He just. Doesn't. I don't think. Um, I feel like. Because anyway, bro, again, remember it's politics. Mm. So the things for SG belting up our money, those are just PR stunts. Mm. You know, it doesn't, I don't think it now, it is that what Sakaja does. But mm. Sakaja just, look, to me, he just strikes me as someone who can do something about, about, about it. But will he do? I don't know. <laughs> it's a matter of time. Mm. What have they done so far? I mean, I'm shut Dave. Yeah. I mean, I mean, <laughs> dimples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Lip Honestly, me, that, that, I don't lie. Like, I have a lot of hope in Sakaja. I'm not going to lie. I have so much hope, I have man. zero hope. Me too. Thing. Hashtag Lazima, you work. Nothing <laughs> well, is working, bro. He Drop is not hashtag. working. <laughs> what do you mean? But things working. are working, bro. Like the food, the, like, the collaboration with Food for Education. To make sure that that that's said. not his idea. It doesn't also, have to be his idea. That's the thing. And it is not even his implementation. Actually, we don't even we don't even need leaders to have the mm-hmm. best ideas. We need leaders to work with the people with the best ideas. Yeah. Their role is just to implement. So Wanjiru, Wanjiru uh, from Food, Food yeah. for Education, if she has that running as the county government, approach her because it's already yeah. working. She has the system to make it work. What you need to do is facilitate her to scale up. But already, which is what the it's government already, is It's already started in a messy way. Because you remember like when... Because when it was supposed asked, to be free. Yeah. Then now, it's supposed to pay SG5 bob. I'm like, so what? Sakaja is on Twitter asking, Ati, who told you it was free? That, bro, and then people put a video of him saying it's gonna it's be free. free. Like what? Oh, is there's the, a video yeah. of him saying it's free. He literally claimed it's gonna be free. Okay. And 
five bob is a lot of money for for truly guys who think are about like it for our, dude think of, you have three kids that's 15 bob a day 75 bob a week there are people who can't afford that okay so don't promise them free things and then charge then them back, truly and then and and cry on tv Saying that you're very passionate <laughs> about these kids <laughs> and, their, and their nutrition, lazy my work. Uh, the politics kids. has to play part. Yeah, I have zero hope in Sakaja. I do have a lot of hope. In he Sakaja. just he looks and talks good. That's it. <laughs> That's why I have. Does hope. not do the work. <laughs> and I'm not as <laughs> gullible. As, and I'm, not, I'm not as gullible as Mwangi <laughs> because he told me. Okay, also he told me he's packing. <laughs> Also, he told me he's parking. Boy, so I have a lot of hope. No. Boy, but he's parking yeah. with lies for sure. He's parked up. But yeah. <laughs> me, I just need Sakaza to invest in my parked apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Not apartment, business complex. <laughs> Where? When they talk on the studios are upside. <laughs> and we'll be draining into Nairobi River. Can you, can you imagine the interviews for the next, uh, what's our upside? <laughs> Guess what the interviews will look like. I are you can't. parking? No. <laughs> You can't hire. You remember, you remember the, the, the the Indian guy who was um, hiring army guys? That's the yeah. guy we're getting for yeah. you. <laughs> you need help. A ball searcher. You ball need searcher. help. We need a di- We need. Is that our is that our episode title? <laughs> we need, we need <laughs> ball searchers. We need a dick whisperer. <laughs> Well, such a wanted. <laughs> well, I'm saying we need a dick piece for us. Oh my gosh! <laughs> now we don't. Now we don't. For part, even now, bro, even even <laughs> even the guards at the entrance will be big, nah, big dudes. Nah, bro. We want them to be parking here. Please. <laughs> All round packed. <laughs> Side and front packed. That's actually, that's, that's actually all round packed. All round packed. All round packed. <laughs> then up a tagline into the building will be welcome to, welcome to the upside of life. <laughs> it has to be. Wow. It has to be. We are never making it out of the hood. We are never making it out of the hood. I swear when we have a packed building. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and will, will our accounts be packed? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Exactly. Giving Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. <laughs> because why? And guess, you know, and we'll do it the traditional way where you get someone from government to come, uh, what is it called? Ribbon cut. Ribbon cut. And it has to be Sakaja. Oh, Lord. Because <laughs> at least we are sure <laughs> he's, he's on brand. <laughs> I, won't, so. I won't be present. <laughs> me either. Count me out. Yeah, so. Wow. You yourself, you're not fucking working. What? <laughs> you're just but, on TV with so dimples. Fun. Saying, Let's make it work. It's never Once. working. And I have hope in Sakaja. I hope it works. Because mm. if it works, it works for us. He will not Because we, we exist and live you. in the city. Him, Actually, he, that's it. The only thing... episode, Mbona, how you work. That is taking shots. <laughs> and that's how we are not getting a Sakaja into <laughs> <laughs> Niggas. Ah, <laughs> tell us, Kona Kujami, if you're not asking the real questions. No, but to a smile. Whether he can just smile the whole episode. No, but the thing is, as we'll ask, then it's up to him to answer or not. Yeah, but also, we'll have our facts. He actually title it to a Robert Alai. That's what he'll be doing the whole time. But I got to talk to Danganya. So my government, my government, my government, my government. He asked someone at you who told you it's free. And then they posted a video of him saying, it's going to be free. I love these kids. <laughs> so what did he say? Because he's active. He was, he that's why he was crying. He was like, oh, president. No, the crying was when they about launched. He tried to justify it at you. Oh, every meal is 60 bob. The government will give you 25 bob. We don't what care. You from, uh, what at the parents will give five. I'm like, what's rice if you could go beans? from 60. What, 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 like, what, what yeah. is rice and beans? I think that the biggest Bro. thing for me would be to understand uh, the model of the business. Because mm-hmm. also we, also it would be sad if you're just doing things um, uh, because you're just in office and you're just doing things to look good. Because mm. as well, it needs to be sustainable. Yeah. So the same way the Kibaki government made free, free education, education and it became a sustainable business model, yes. yeah. regardless of who's in power, then it has to be sustainable. Because at the end of it, because there's, there's food for education behind it, yeah. which is a private entity and they can yeah. do whatever they want to do. Yeah. So wh- yes. what is the agreement? What is the business model? I've just... Sustainability. Even Moi in the 80s, 90s gave um, Maziwa. Free milk. Mm. Kibaki came with free education. Keep in mind, the government takes 30% of what we make. True. Every 100 Gs you make, the government takes 30K. Mm. Mm. Now they take more. It's more. And I still. mean, so now the finance bill is in... Oh, yeah. yeah. They yeah. take more now. For houses, we'll never have. Yep. <laughs> pay for houses, we'll never have. Yeah. And w- even the guys who own houses, <laughs> you have to you pay have for to another pay. house. You, why? <laughs> Already, man. Why? <laughs> they should have. I think it's a, it's a it's a good idea, but it should be an optional idea. Yes. Like if Opt-in, I want to invest out, yeah. in a house, the government says if you want to invest in in a house, this is an option for you. And one point five percent of your salary will buy your crazy, house. That's crazy, truly. Unless you're earning like a mic plus. Mm. Anyway, it's the government. You tell me, living. someone who's changing 
100 Gs, which is already like three, 1% of the country, mm. that maybe earn 100K plus, mm. that's 1,500 per month. And when will you buy a house? Yeah, <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Some guys said you're in the apartment, but one bedroom South B. Aye, I at South B, one, one bedroom is <laughs> 6 million. <laughs> <laughs> one, 1,500 per month. That's yeah, like baby. 70 years of saving. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, so it's a, just a mortgage. The way the, you know, the way the bank gives you a mortgage that you pay for for 50 years. Aye, but I'm still. like, 50 years, bro. Mm. But even a mortgage, but you don't think. Yeah. Or 25 years. Yeah. That's still a long time. Aye, your partner. This but also, you're not mm. paying 1,500. You know, you're paying a hundred k. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a significant like, yeah. amount yeah. for many years with a nice down payment. Yep, hmm. you pay. Yeah, you pay. If a you're lot buying of like a ten million bob house, you have to maybe put like thirty percent in. Yeah, which makes sense. And then you pay off the seven million. And actually, the more you pay as the initial uh, fee, you the pay less. less. Yeah. Yeah. The interest goes. So ni ambe mtu na ana hundred k. 1500 per month. Your grandchildren will not see that house. <laughs> so the thing, the thing that I think the thing that I like now that they've implemented is that so now anything government, there's only one pay bill number. Yes. That goes straight to treasury. Okay. So now that's a good move mm. in terms of um because you can only imagine how much money is being lost in these government offices. So yeah. the only way yeah. now that someone can embezzle um you know fees that are paid to the government now is from treasury. if they're in treasury or if you agree to pay in cash. Because mm. you're not you're not supposed mm. to pay in cash Truly. so that all the money is collected there. Now what they do with the money there, yeah. Up or that's to some, that's managing up to them. This, who's but we see as well, it's a good initiative towards also just making just being more accountable in terms of how government money is collected. Mm. Yes, it's treasury, whoever's in CS and whoever in charge of the but that's 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 a that's a step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. So now if they can implement whatever the money is used for in treasury, yeah. then yeah, slowly we will begin, get better. Yeah, things True. will get better. So I'm just like for me, I want the government to work. Again, <laughs> and we've had this discussion. If the government works, it works in our favor. If it doesn't work, yeah. Fuck. Lazy may work. Lazy may work. Anyway, so. Nashinsky. But I'm gonna hopes. I mean, the governor is packing. I have hopes. I said it. Let's check mm -hmm. back in three years. <laughs> Nashinsky, what's going on with Nashinsky? So, so Nashinsky, mm -hmm. according to the notes, says uh, Nashinsky sued over the Techno Common 20 endorsement deal worth 12 million, mm -hmm. accusing him of copyright infringement over the song Watch Watch by a Nigerian producer called Sam Ali. So, mm -hmm. um, I just saw this on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Just give me a second. Um, so, some guy called Sinda Tino. Matiko. So, he mm -hmm. says exclusive Matiko is a Korean name. Oh, for real? Yeah. So now we know four couriers. <laughs> uh -huh. So he says, um, Nashinsky sued over techno endorsement deal worth 12 million. Nigerian producer, Sam Eli, producer of Watch Watch Hit, has moved to court accusing him of copyright infringement over the song because um, Watch Watch was used for this techno common promo gotcha. since mm -hmm. Nyash signed the agreement signed the agreement as a band ambassador in May this year. Understand the deal signed is to the tune of 12 million, though this could not be identi independently verified. Sam, who has produced six songs for Nyash, says the singer has been difficult to deal with on matters of split sheets. Um, he says Nyash has refused to sign 50% of publishing rights as per their split sheet. And when he threatened to go to court over the techno deal, Sam says Nyash offered him 50K, a Chaninayo story. Thousand shillings. Mm-hmm. 5,000 USD? No. Kenyan Kenya shillings. shillings. When he declined the offer... 50,000 Kenyan shillings? Yep. When... Lazy may work. <laughs> <laughs> when he declined... <laughs> when he declined the offer, insisting he can't take 50k because he believes the deal is worth more. Nyash told him he can as well go and take him to court. So Sam argues Nyash ame mwasha kwa publishing rights on the endorsement deal, which split sheet says 50-50. Um, Nyash on his part says he signed the deal because he owns 100% of the master rights to the song. Then now Sam wants to go to court to compel Nyash to reveal how much the techno deal is worth and pay damages. And he has also sued Nyash for releasing three more songs he produced without having them agreed on split sheets. Mm. Yeah. All right. So uh, this is an interesting conversation I like this. I mean, so um, first things first, right? Mm -hmm. And this is something just being in the corporate world that I've come to learn. Yeah. Is that... When you when you operate at a certain level of business, mm -hmm. then part of what your contract should should read with your employees 
is um, a clause of non ex- of exclusivity for some time. And I'll give an example, right? So if I work, um, let me not, not let me not, not let me not use a studio. Let me actually let me use an actual product that people can relate mm-hmm. can relate to, right? So if I work at um, this thing. Who I won't mention, but your if you ba- know, your you, ba- you, you, you say you know, know what you mean. Your wife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Your side chick. <laughs> wife near <laughs> Rimis. <laughs> mm-hmm. So if you, so you, if you work at this um uh this petroleum jelly right mm-hmm. that we use, now think about um what goes behind these products we see. There's a lot of marketing initiatives. There's mm-hmm. a lot of um. Uh, what is it called? There's a there's a lot of um, approach to business. There's just mm. things that make this brand the brand it is. Yeah. And also some of those some of those are secrets. Each brand has their own, which yeah. is fine. Yeah. Now imagine if I was in a position like head of marketing at this petroleum jelly brand, mm. I know so much about the route to market, suppliers, right. the Everything, supply yeah. chain. Yeah. I know the whole thing. I know what marketing campaigns you're working on yes. that, that that maybe could move this five brand years forward. Five years strategic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know the next three years plan or five mm. years. Yeah. Now imagine I moved from this petroleum jelly, moved straight into competition. Do you know what does what it does to this? So I carry yeah. all that information straight into competition, yeah. bro. I could literally yeah. move with my business plan from this to, to another next, and yeah. implement. Yeah. yeah, just change the logos. So now, exactly, <laughs> and implement. Yeah, and and that has happened in real life, where someone someone moved someone moved to a different company, mm-hmm. like direct competition, bro. Direct the ideas, and they're in a very in a very high in a very senior position, immediately. So then I'm like, oh shit. Then I learned that um, some companies do that. So they say. Mm-hmm. If for whatever reason we stop working with you for the next maybe three or four years, you can't work for direct competition and yeah. it's on contract and you sign. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that keeps your business at least in check. So yeah. whether you are fired or you decide to resign or whatever, whatever happens, we know for sure you can't work or even consult for direct yeah. competition. <clears throat> so now where I'm where I'm going, where I'm going with that, when you, if you bring it back to um, yeah. the story of Nashinsky, mm-hmm. right? So whether Nashinsky owns the masters or not, publishing is different. Truly. Really? Sorry. Mm-hmm. My correlation with the jelly was Nashinsky had a Samsung deal. Oh. Not false. too long ago, by yeah. the way. Then, Nashinsky had a huge Samsung deal, bro. He was all over billboards in Nairobi yep. and whatnot. His socials. Literally, a few months later or a year later, watch, watch. boom. Techno. Nashinsky's on techno, bro. Yeah. Maybe he has an Android deal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... You've done influencing deals. Yeah, for sure. I know for sure in, in influencing deals, mm. uh, some, some companies make you sign a yep. contract yeah. that if you work with us for maybe one year, you can't work with direct competition. Yes. True. And it comes at a cost as well. It comes at a cost. Yeah. But then as a brand, also, you... You want to keep that. Like, yeah. I'd rather pay extra, but then you know why you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, Nashinsky literally came from Samsung straight into techno offices. Boom. <laughs> maybe techno paid Samsung. I think they probably did. Yeah, maybe yeah, they were possible. like, how, how, how much for you to offset this clause? Yes. So, that probably yeah. happened. Okay. Mm. But then it was just interesting to see that. Um, and it goes back to what you're saying. Me, influencing is just it's hard for work. me. Because you become a marketplace. Yes. So tomorrow, Nashinsky will... Unakaja, unakaja, <laughs> unakaja, unakaja, F1. Unakaja, unakaja, F1. <laughs> From all the brands. But anyway, so back into music. Anyway, so, so he has a techno deal now. Yeah. Um, I've seen the ad that you guys are talking about and the song Watch What is in it. So mm-hmm. even, and correct me if I'm wrong, as long as I'm part of a song, mm-hmm. It's regardless, money regardless of who owns the masters or not, publishing this and split sheets, I still, I'm, I'm still entitled to make royalties yeah. from yeah. that song. Yeah, true, false. It's true, right? So whether Nashinsky owns the masters or not, when it comes to publishing, mm. if this song is used for any commercial gain, it's, we go back to split. Yeah. So tell me, I, I made be a producer. I produced a song six years ago. Me chill to Kanyumba and Bo. Me make six million. Yeah, yeah. that's what happens. Uh-huh. That's what happens. Yeah. Set in limits. That's 50, what happens. 50 for if you say 50, 50 regardless yeah. of the percentage, you're supposed you get to make your, your cut. Yeah. Publishing it. basically means if uh, if this uh, piece of art we created mm. makes any revenue, you're then I get a, I get this percentage of that revenue. Yeah. So if it's used on a techno deal now, yeah. this if is we agreed percentage. 80, 20, if it goes, Netflix picks up next year for a movie. Um, I get my deal. Mm. If it goes to 
maybe a, a politician whoever wants to use it on a campaign this is how much they're paying so that's publishing publishing is just how you make money yeah. Yeah. so if we make a piece of art regardless of who owns it when it comes to percentages mm-hmm. that never changes mm-hmm. unless a mm-hmm. buy a buy off i buy you yeah. i buy your the percentage rights. yeah but then regardless of who owns it if you are a producer if i mm-hmm. literally song wrote if yeah. i did one pass, as long as i don't know if i even acknowledge as really done. 2% yeah <laughs> <laughs> so so that means if you are if you are if you are part of our song yeah. you will forever be part of a song because yeah. you if you think about it you are actually you part are. of making that song yeah. yeah so the percentages you you agree and then you sign your your split yeah. mm. so definitely nyashinsky has to pay for that truly no, but yeah. he's refused to sign alipena 50k So, so, but no, he's a fool. <laughs> How do you get 10 million and then give me 50 50 Gs? Are you what? <laughs> Are you mad? So who, who say who who uh, who came up with the Allegedly, 12 million? Yeah. It's alleged. It's alleged. alleged yeah. Okay. So but then that's what happens when you go to court. The court will make this public. So this is how much they paid yeah. according to the agreement on our split sheets. Publishing, I'm supposed to get this percentage. 50%. So he'll get yeah. his money. But what does Simple. it mean when a deal is worth 12 million? Do you get paid the 12 million? You agree. So you definitely get an upfront payment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So cuz the cuz most of these deals are layered. Mm-hmm. So for like um Nyashinsky who I assume does business properly, yeah. then Nyashinsky mm. has image rights. He does, he does. Nyashinsky um, actually has one of the most professional teams. It's true. At it's true in Kenya. You know, easy easy my deals are oh money nini, those are things that can be sorted on yeah. the side. But also mm-hmm. I'm just thinking in terms of Nyashinsky and whoever is in his team. Mm-hmm. Um If unless uh, there's a specific reason why this the, the song that was used, mm-hmm. then you know in the back of your mind all the songs you have well, when money comes in how the money is supposed to go. Yeah. So you shouldn't get here. But back to I'm assuming if he does proper business, right? Mm-hmm. He has image rights. So that means even yeah. if I'm a, I'm endorsing you, then um, if you need to use my image, Amanini, yes. there's rights for of that. Course. Then there's music rights to yeah. use his music. Whether it's an original composition that he creates a new song, mm-hmm. I mean it's a song that exists. And then now there's the endos- en- endorsement, which means mm-hmm. I'm going to attach my my brand to your brand for yeah. this period. So that is then there's I'm sure there's many other layers. Yeah. It's not just that, but that's just a breakdown of what these deals look like. Mm-hmm. Then you tally it, it comes to whatever figure you agree yeah. with. So he has to pay, bro. He's no, gonna have like, to pay. Okay, so let, let's use this example. Um mm. Nonini with the Safari, when he had the safari com yeah. yeah. the wekamu thing yeah. so he says him and Clemo was it wekamu leoni no that gigaga 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 G- yeah, yeah. yeah so he says him and Clemo he says he owns the song mm. but if you're talking about speech sheets Clemo is the producer whatever whatever mm. Mm. so Clemo says nonini is supposed to cut a check nonini is like he doesn't need to cut a check so in mm. such a situation what happens see if, if Clemo goes to court nonini will cut a check but also I promise you keep in mind this case but are not split sheets if they're not split yeah, sheets yeah they're not split sheets so mm. it'll be little more agree mm. <laughs> I'm a big guy because these guys are making music at all so we need guys are making music remember Giuliani story <laughs> Yeah. They're making music in ro- in bedrooms and whatever. Really? Of course, the paperwork was not correct at that yeah. time. Yeah, so the at prop- the time. At the time. So it just needs you to be reasonable. Nika ukamu kai chini useme eh safko mama nipe a five million. Yeah, and that's why papers yeah. are, too, are essential. Even if yeah. it's just with the homies. And even just if you don't have sign. papers, yeah. just be reasonable. Truly. Yeah. We made this song in 2003. We didn't even know how legalities of work. music work. Mm. But now the song is giving us five mic. Mm. So I give you two, I keep three, and mm. then you're like sour. That's it. Yeah, because mm-hmm. if, if if there's paperwork and uh, he goes to court, yeah. he gets uh, the court. The paperwork will always dictate. Will always really? dictate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it's just weird that we can. I mean, <laughs> if you if you hear when Joakali is describing just the grind and yeah. how it was, it was very. It's very weird that if money comes like that, this guy will just not pay up. How? Like we, you were in my bedroom. <laughs> 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 you recorded ile my kenyel kwa mehangi yako kuta. I literally Jeez. made the song on the computer. Yeah. <laughs> you just sang it. Because then now you're like it's my song. It's my song. Yeah. That's why they don't even pay for it. That's why I'm like unless you specifically agree yeah. that me I'll buy your the percentage right, from you. Whatever. Yeah. Otherwise, if you may, if you're part of the song, you will forever you be a part of the song. Yeah. Like how We met Nika says yeah. we met the, we, we met this episode. So how can I say <laughs> Mwanga is not part of the episode? Mimi ni contribute 40% to the audio. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'll be like Anis, always... ebo endo kate audio say me million ge how long? The only the only thing the only thing with master recordings yeah. means is that you when you own the masters mm-hmm. then you own the right to uh, strike business deals. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you don't have the masters 
Even if I even if I got a business deal, I can't implement it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Remember, Bian is on record saying that calligraphy shame to me at 300 G's randomly. Yeah. Because they made a song of just the moment. It was Yesbana. Yesbana. While you go to studio, I can vibe because I can get it. Yeah. And then Kali, I can make do ko yongoma because I'm be hey bro, I'm going to pay you. Yeah, you're going to pay. And that's good. But now, if you made 12 million off an endorsement, and I Truly, how are you giving me 50 Gs? Well, that's a slap in the face. <laughs> Bro, you are in Madarao. Honestly. Ata mine zenda court. Ah, anyway, so I want to say shout out to um I was with um I was with Raymond mm-hmm. Kahuma. Ooh. He's amazing, bro. Let me tell you. Raymond Kahuma is yeah, he's my new best friend. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the cameras. <laughs> We're going to fight. It's about to go down. <laughs> no, no. I think so, actually post photo was like a mozaka comments me a chapi mos. Eh, but imagine. <laughs> and I was just in Kericho. <laughs> But you're done circle go fall. Yeah. Ah bro, honestly, I think I said that was lead. Ah. That was bro, lead. Actually, <laughs> actually, actually, no, the I'm caption adding, was everything. I'm adding dancer to the to my I, bio, huh? I, I, you know, I realized that. since I stopped asking Mwangi for captions, I have fire. <laughs> <The> creativity, <laughs> but Zote, Zote is not to come out too. I just asked. Uh, Zote is in at the in Gari Mwangi kona kelele mingi. Why is that a caption? <laughs> no, at imagine. Niko kuku kwa gobari. Imagine I was in a tea plantation, then I said, "Niko." <laughs> that was a fire. That was fire. I would never have come up with that. that was, of course, me praying and being being and being. Everyone tea leaves. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so I was in Draymond. Yeah. And um on and that O'Shea. particular seat. Yes. You're with him on that seat. That yes. you sit with us every Sunday. Yes. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's a it's a public studio. You know, we don't own this. Yeah. Do you think we're the only people who use you this? Yes. 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 Do you think I'll it's mic check? Ah, but do you know that? Uh, of course, it's not just mic check. I see some guys with this background. Kwanza, this one is not true. <laughs> Everyone's you know, podcast. It's, it's weird because all the time I see, even if it's a picture, I'm just like, yeah, that's our set. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody anyway, knows it's our set. Yeah. So I linked up with Oshia, who's a black American but now lives in Uganda, yeah. mm-hmm. and has has a huge podcast actually. So yes. shout out to him and and Raymond. So he had us on um on his uh, on his show. Yeah. And yeah, so Raymond is. Attempting to break another world record and then he comes on mic check and wow. he's a checkmate. So he fucks the show big time. Nice. Big time. Shout out Raymond, man. Fucks the show big time, bro. Achad ndashkata nyole angu kama ya kungwa jangwa jangu. Nishkile ya pa nyuma. Bro, do you know Raymond is such a ball of energy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, he looks like it. The way I... Like we we sat here and we just we couldn't stop talking. It was I interesting. His last video of him ranking Kenyan fast food, whatever. Mm-hmm. Restaurants. Yeah. I watched it and I was so happy because the results were what I like. Mm. Like everything that was goated. He was honest. My Mac subway was there. <laughs> yeah, Mac fries guns are terrible. No, sorry, we lost power briefly. Yeah. But I think we were talking about Raymond. Yeah. And his, you know, uh, just, uh, no, he was going to give us to Ria Pizza in. I think that's what no, he, he did. Yeah. So he told yeah. us. Two extra toppings. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And but but you agree? You are. I mean, so you are in agreement with the ranking? Yes. yes. Have, have yes. Sure. Yeah, sure. I did. Yeah. Okay, Mac fries has its days. I no, honestly, I... the ma- me I don't like the fries at McFries, but yeah. the, chicken, the chicken when it's mm. the dry chicken. I don't mind their fries with a lot of vinegar. I think they. they but me the chicken. Yeah, but also the because even there's times I've just craved McFries. We even gone yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. But the chicken. They just raise their prices stupidly. They're not yeah. a fast food joint anymore. But also remember he was ranking based on because he was spending. The he, yeah, yeah. The cheapest. He was buying the cheapest thing. Yeah. And ranking off that. So that's why I see where pizza in ended in bad. Now, pizza in, pizza, honestly, pizza, pizza in deserved to be there. Imagine, no. Really? It's not, it's yeah. not. Have you had, they, they have a new pizza. I don't like do- Domino's. Domino's is trash. They have a new Dude, pizza Dude, it's called. a cardboard for bread. The bread is so hard. <laughs> you, you are just a hater. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> just, ah, 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 <laughs> Clearly, Aina. <laughs> Clearly. Drizzle some coconut oil on it next time. Bruh, no. Yeah, shout out but, to Raymond. But, but Raymond, man, Raymond, when Raymond comes here, which yeah. is going to be in, in like two weeks or something, Woo-hoo! that's going to be a five. So I, can't yeah. wait. I cannot wait. Are we going to talk in Uganda next? For like, sure, that's my cousin. I'll <laughs> vlogger from Uganda. Like, that's my cousin. I can't wait. <laughs> but you know, just talking about Uganda, bro. Yes. So the World Bank suspends financing to Uganda <laughs> following enactment of the Anti-Homosexuality Act. Museveni in return urges African countries uh, to stop exporting raw materials and direct investors to process them locally. 
A win is a win. Who's but that, so the thing is, okay. So um, I definitely do not support the act, you know, yes, and really? it's sad to see that it's already been passed and yeah. enacted. Um, the only my only problem is how why don't we hold other countries in the same regard? Like why why, why is Uganda being punished by these colonizers mm. when Dubai is receiving a lot of praise? Yeah, the middle say say the middle, the middle east. East. You know what I mean? UAE. You know, Mbaka, even an entire World Cup is being hosted in Qatar. Yeah. Mm. So when when it's in whatever is perceived as rich countries. This is really capitalism, bro. This is in really whoever finest. has the money. It's, it's, all, the it's all about the coin, finest. honestly, at the end of the day. It's all about it, bro. Yeah. Because, so, as a, I'm against it, but I'm just like, why is Uganda getting punished? You know, and when these so other countries... Harshly. You get what very I mean. harshly, you know what I mean? But if the, if the, um, if the, um, if, if, uh, if UAE came calling today... It wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, they wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro, this would... Yep. The World Bank would be doing whatever they need to do. Mm -hmm. Who owns the World Bank? <laughs> Aliens. God. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, it's so sad seeing this in Uganda. Yeah. Um, you know, um, but whatever Museven is calling for, I feel like it, it's just a knee jerk reaction. It's sour me fanya so PC to fanya. But 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 but, but genuinely, mm -hmm. but Museveni has a point because truly why why are we making why are we getting tea from here? True. Exporting it, then we import it back. It's because the same thing, but it's the same thing that Even Niger coffee. just did. Yeah. I think it's just standing in solidarity, if you ask me. We have to, bro. It's the same, same mm. agenda Gaddafi was pushing yeah. for. The same, same ad agenda the guys who really fought for independence, the guys who really cared, you know, mm. fought for. Because, to be, to be very frank, our currencies perform very poorly against mm -hmm. other global currencies. Yeah. And it's mainly because of this bullshit. True. Now, imagine if we processed all that locally. One, yeah. we're creating a lot of jobs. Yes. Then these guys... Who can't grow tea in their countries now have to buy it from yeah. us? Yeah. You know how much in foreign That's currencies we are ranking in as a country? Exactly. Yeah. So he does have a point. If you have minerals here, why not just diamonds, make them what from not? here? Can you imagine if we process all that tea? Refining here, it from here is, and exporting it. Why don't we just do it? Why does it have to be a reaction to what the but, West but does? It's, but also, it's, uh, I think he's entitled to a reaction because he's being penalized. He but he, he should have done it earlier. You don't have to wait for someone to do something to you. I agree. I yeah. agree with you. But I'm yeah. saying, either way, since it's not a bad thing to do, to whether you. it's a reaction or, or not, not, it's, yeah. it's a positive thing to do. Because yeah. even now, if countries react to it, it, it's sort of backing up his nonsense law. Oh, anti -homosexual. But these countries are already anti-homosexual, most of them. So what's the what's the problem? Really? <laughs> Either way, it's uh -huh. not legal in their countries. They may not have gone to the extent of Uganda. Yeah, but, but it's still that's illegal. how they feel. Yeah. yeah. So what's the difference? Because bro, we have we have so much as Africa. Like if we processed all these things here, mm. and now they have to buy from it would us, be crazy. and actually we sell it to them in our currency. <laughs> hey, that was <laughs> In our the, currency, Gaddafi's bro. dream was to make Africa like one, one big, yeah. yeah, one big country. I we, hope it happens. We'd have been the, the the next USA. I didn't know Uganda was Africa's <laughs> second largest coffee producer and largest exporter after mm. Ethiopia. I didn't know that, but you know, even Ethiopia is still ikotu apo kusababu. Uh, anyway, so let me before I go to Ethiopia. So this is what Museveni said, mm -hmm. uh, and this is from Larry Mador's uh, coverage on CNN. Mm -hmm. He said Uganda will develop with or without loans. Should we consult America, World Bank, IMF every time? And this is I'm quoting: every mm -hmm. time we make a law, if it's access, access, acceptable to them. There's a, so it's it's led. Mm -hmm. I don't support the law, but there's things within that within the law yeah. with the within the response that I support. You know, okay. like why are we still colo uh, colonial states up to date? Truly. This consulting is bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I, I support the sanctions if the law is very um, yeah. stupid. You know, like if tomorrow, like one of the countries in the world says women cannot work and earn money. Yeah. Defend yeah, them for sure. For sure. If the law is stupidly aligned. Yeah. Defund them. So question. I mean, the Saudi Arabias and the whatevers don't really need loans. They have mm -hmm. they have more money than they even spend, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you think um then do you think they would get sanctions if if, even if to they pull get such a stand? It probably would not dent the economy that much. Because they don't rely on that. Yeah. They're, they're almost they're like, like we will not yeah. give you money. We didn't ask for it. Habibi, you come to Dubai. Come to Dubai. But then I think, yeah, yeah. but 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 so okay, so Ethiopia. 
mm-hmm. is cracking down. This is on BBC Africa. I'm mm-hmm. reading from their Twitter. Mm-hmm. Ethiopia is cracking down. It's a picture of someone on a hotel door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> on gay sex in hotels. Authorities are targeting as well bars and entertainment joints in the capital of Addis mm-hmm. where the alleged gay sexual activities are taking place. So how are they cracking down? They're setting up cameras. I'm They're assuming. literally cracking down. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. So I'm assuming they have spies. You, so, know, you know government has people. So if me and you, we go to Addis Ababa yeah. and uh. we don't have a lot of money spent on hotels, so we get a twin room, mm. will they follow us? Yeah, they're cracking down. Probably. For sure. So I was about to watch to kill Mr. Dinyane. It was never in the plan. <laughs> nah, but that's crazy. But it's just crazy how governments can go in such extent. Mm. For, for nonsense. For, for but nonsense. what you need to do like, is open, where you draw the know, line. Ethiopia has so many problems that they need to deal yeah, with. Yeah, first You're they need to start cooking their food. You're worried about who's eating food. someone's ass. <laughs> it's just like Uganda, bro. One, start dealing with this president. You Truly. need democracy. <laughs> how long has it been? 35, 40 years. 37 plus. Almost Bro. 40. So, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. it's even longer than my ears. <laughs> Basically, Raymond Kahuma, you know, has never seen another president. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you may never see another president. Mm. <laughs> And so, the next president is going to be the, Muho, the Muho, son. Muho, 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 and they're going to they're gonna either vote, mm-hmm. vote him in or they're going to steal No, them. but right now, I think mm-hmm. there was a plan to change the law equal, like, presidency is hereditary. So if he dies, Muhozi automatically takes yeah. over. So that's why I'm like, they have so many issues <laughs> to deal with. Yeah. And imagine they're just worried about who's anti homo say, I'm like, what? Lazima, you work. It's sexual activities. I'm like... What? Yeah. Have you seen how they debate those things on, on in the parliament? No. In Uganda? Yeah. Like the guy in the we laugh. <laughs> no, I've not seen They're that. So dumb. There's clips online. First of all, there's yeah, there's this pastor who's anti-gay. <laughs> the fact that there's a pastor there at a I'm just here. Yeah. He's yeah. always on TV yeah. saying, and then he comes with bananas, cucumbers, and everything. This is, dem- is he like to the interview? You so to it, yeah. This is the rectum. The, if, if this is the rectum, and this is the penis. And this is the penis. <laughs> I'm like, what? The air is sticky. <laughs> yeah, he says that. And then he says, eat the poo They eat the poo so, so my question, <laughs> so to them, when, when people are gay, they automatically think sex. Yeah, yeah. they don't even think attraction, love, nearly yeah. nothing. So to them is sex. It's no, but but, but even, honestly, but I, even I, if I, they think sex, so to them is, they want to uh, sort of control how people have sex, regardless, even yeah. if you think sex. Because surely it's happening behind closed doors. Why are you cracking down on people <laughs> know, like in Ethiopia. the confines of their homes? <laughs> can you imagine? That's what I'm. Can you imagine asking police? If to it's stop, in public, cool. Yeah. To stop doing their actual job. Imagine jobs. if you make kwako kubisha pack towers. To na bisha to naskia kunafadi. Like why? But also, like, how will you catch people having sex? <laughs> so, I don't know. You what break? if you open our hotel room? We are two guys and we are, we are sweating. We just say we are working out. <laughs> <laughs> we are working out. <laughs> you don't know Naked. cardio. <laughs> yeah. In the confines of people's yeah. homes, please let's let them how do, do what they want. How do you think this brief happens? First of all, you know, Museveni doesn't get blowjobs. Because he said the mouth, the mouth, the mouth is for eating. The mouth is for, mouth is for, for eating. God, for eating <laughs> and praising. So he's never had a blowjob. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Actually, you know, in our constitution, the it's reason why there was repeal 162. Our constitution only recognizes penetration as the only form of sex that's legal. Yeah. Imagine, yeah. So all of us should be in jail. <laughs> <laughs> you all. especially. <laughs> <laughs> all? All of us. Wait. If you've Wait. ever put it anywhere else. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Including Ata kwa kichwa hivi. Kwa kichwa? Ata kwa dreadi. Jela. Many. Bruh. If you've ever put it in an afro. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> so, what Damondo says, no woman is ever single, it's a choice. And she, what up? There's <laughs> no woman who's ever single. I think it's true. What Have does she mean single? by it? Yeah. No the, woman. The, the, like, basically, she's saying you, you choose to be single. True, I have been. Currently, I am. No, so, no, so is the statement correct? No woman is ever single, it's a choice. True. Okay. I support. It's true. Mm, it's true. Do you guys support? Same as guys. Guys is a lie. Right, guys are never single. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 like, uh, no, no, guys never choose to. Kuna to, they don't choose to be single, but they are. <laughs> 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 like, 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 me, I, I don't think of. I you, you're choosing to be single. I don't think, not actively. <laughs> what do you mean, not actively? <laughs> <laughs> not actively means, like, I've not decided I want to be single. You know what I mean? Like, I've not decided I want to be single. I just haven't. I just you haven't. Have. You are truly. Then you are just gonna. Root, you're gonna, you're gonna, are you going to root or ask the whole? Imagine in our faces. No. Like I, like I haven't just gotten 
Mm. Are you going to tell us your brother? Uh, wait, let me finish this statement. <laughs> you haven't got it, boy. I just haven't met someone at Pat Stars mm. Yon, yon, yon. Boy, mm. bye. <laughs> someone that I feel like I want to mm. be with like that. Taxi, <laughs> mm. <laughs> your palate is so wide, but you want to eat on the floor. I I, I don't understand you sometimes. <laughs> Why don't you understand? Mm. <laughs> No, nigga, shut up. Nigga, <laughs> I know, like, we haven't been friends for long, but <laughs> we've, we've, we've like, talked about lying and provoked. We've been lied to and provoked together so many times. I'm buying a house in Tilisi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, never, he's never coming. Okay, he might come. And I'm going to find him. To guest host, not, um, not, not an interview. The day you don't make it, he'll step in for you. Uh. Guy, he's <laughs> in hologram. He's not coming. <laughs> I don't know how, but <laughs> nobody will connect with me. Please do it. But I could let a hologram really to make a Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> anyway, just a reminder, John yes, first. Sir. John 4th, John 11th. Hey, next story, please. Wacha kutuboko. Wacha kutuboko. Wacha kutuboko. Wacha kutuboko. Yeah, Unaza tubo. No, for real, though. Fabulous was in the country. I was not in Nairobi. Oh, shit, I'll tell you where I was. But Fabulous was not in the country. <laughs> you guys were. No, he was in the, in, in the city, sorry. He was in the city. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't go. Where? <laughs> was, was not Honestly, I'm a, bi- I'm a big fabulous fan, but I was just like, dude, I'm not paying that amount of money to see my boy. I think 5K is fair. <laughs> dude, I think it was free. Wh- I'm not seeing him in a skating uh, the rink. Seats, the place looked a bit quite empty, if you ask me, no? I didn't see the videos. It was, it was I decent. Video. I just, I just remember, I remember, it was I decent. remember seeing, like, okay, my friends texted me and said that he, we have free tickets at the office and no one is taking them. <laughs> For real? Yeah. Our Ethiopian friend texted me. Damn. Damn. They are all coming by. Anyone wants to go for fabulous, you got to go your Come see me for tickets. I'm going to text me back. Nah, I'm like, mm, we good. <laughs> <laughs> There's better ways to but, spend yeah. it. I, I, know, know. I know someone who went. I was supposed yeah. to meet them on Friday. Yeah. But they didn't come to the office. So, Ntamuliza. How but he was. said he had a good time. Now from the vi- no, me, from what I know and what I've heard, yeah. it was you in the concert here. Work for your own fans. Work for your own fans. Work for your own fans. But yeah, I saw his performance. Honestly, I wasn't impressed considering, you know, it was playback and whatever. His energy is just in the dust. Oh, and he insulted us. Before we, yeah. okay. Before we get there, okay. Before we get there, so you saying the concert wasn't fab? The, he, at all. <laughs> it fab, wasn't? It wasn't do, fab. Fabulous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Wait. Okay. But yeah, it was yeah. Did this why why did they take him to Kiva? Chilimani. For lunch. <laughs> Connie, everyone deserves some wet fry. Come on. <laughs> you don't like wet fry. So of, like of course, Kiva paid for that. Mm-hmm, but definitely. then, fucking made an entire flyer. So are you going to Kiva just because Fabulous is there for lunch? She so that you can eat with him and breathe the same. Dude. Bro, do you I, know actually even if you pulled up at Kiva, you're probably not gonna, you're probably just yeah, going to see. Stairs, the yeah. angle while Kwameka was like, because I believe Kuna stairs Billy on this side, so he was seated in the middle. So keep under stairs. You see. No Uta mwita tu jina, he turns, he says, hello, yeah. you keep pushing. Yeah. He's probably gra- gonna grab the mic and say like, fabulous. <laughs> bye bye. Mm. I was honestly, even if I was in Nairobi, I don't think I, w- I would have gone. Me too. I love it was a weekday. So when I took a job, when the lunch quiver. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if it's a Friday, that's yeah. it's, a, it's all right. But when are we gonna have actual artists in their prime? We can't afford it. Okay, I forgot. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's an affordable. We'll just have to fly to SA yeah. so many times. <laughs> but anyway, so I, I, I was at a checkmate traditional wedding called Yay. called Nyombo. It's called Nyombo. Nyombo in Luo. Okay. In Luo, it's called Nyombo. It's the Rorasho for Luos. Yes. Yes. Sort okay. of. Bro, the Luo traditional dancers. They go. Tell home. us. Bro, I, let me. I, Tell I, I even us. recorded this, bro. Imagine if you if you if you if you gave this to UG, and just ask. And no, if you got these guys in studio with Yuji, yeah, and ask them they to make this again, like, to bro, Ebu hear this, bro. Chill. I can already see Anis doing this. <laughs> it gets better. It's getting some time. When is he in your book? Shut up. If you just speed it up, you don't go to bro. Yeah, that's it. 
Bro, okay. <sighs> and they're so unthink. Bro, this was lit, bro. Yeah, but traditions and customs. In was very interesting to see, man. So shout out to Whitney. Whitney, and... congratulations. You remember she was here when we had Okelo Max? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Whitney and Jay, bro. It's so sad that none of my niggas are ever doing Rura shows. We only have one hope. But Mariah is, though. Mr. Karaki. Yes, me, I'm bonus. Ah, you, you have hope with Mr. Karaki. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You know, what is that supposed to mean? Mr. Karake. A laser. He's, he's our closest hope. I feel like Mr. Karake would be down to settle, but can we stay? You know, like... That you <laughs> very, very off the books. Yeah, off the books. <laughs> Same kama mimi too. Off the books. So, Mr. Matu, why In short. You know, it's different for Mariah, because, you know, when you do it, your girls are heavily involved. Truly. Really? Mm. We'll, we'll come, we'll support, you know, everything. But, you know, if, for your guys, if your guy is doing it, then yeah. you're heavily involved. Yeah. Everyone has a role. It's a good time. It's a good time. It's a guests. When by the guest Danny, <laughs> we don't coordinate dancers. Aye. We don't have to pay roles. Music unless, department. Unless, we, unless you are we're busy. serving food. Now we're going to the station. I don't see that. Chaksi kuku mimi mbuzi. I don't see that. Do you know, I remember, bro, like I was sad. Then, so the... the um, so the groom, mm -hmm. when the groom arrives, I arrived with the grooms, then there's the dancers and everyone waiting to receive them. Mm -hmm. So that's how, this, literally, this is the entrance oh, of the groom wow. into the home. Vibe. Yeah, then go in, dance like another 30 nice minutes, you know, mm -hmm. have fun. It's just him and the, the boys. Mm -hmm. uh, then you sit down. Mm -hmm. Then there's a few speech introductions. Yeah. So the only thing with introductions is I thought maybe you just recognize, you know, like brothers, sisters, wave, nini, bro, yeah. everyone had to speak. Yeah. Literally, the mic went around like 200, 300 people. I'm like, damn, when, when is this going to end? As it should. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, so that happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you so can. That, that happens. Yeah. And then it's time for the bride to come out. Uh -huh. Madness. Is it I can imagine. Bro! Bro! When they bring yeah. out the bride, that's like the ceremony. Bro, Forget everything. Bro, let me tell uh -huh. you, when, when, the, when the bride comes out, when Whitney came out, it's wild. it was bananas. I can imagine. But I, I remember for, a, for the, bro, that is the time... Now, after, when now they begin, the pastor, the whatever, I'm just like, shit, this is like the happiest I've ever been. Like, <laughs> I was completely lost in whatever, in the frenzy, yeah. bro. Yeah. I was completely lost. And then Samina Jambia, this is just me, as a friend who's really here. Yeah. Can you imagine what's going on in the minds of Whitney and, and Jay. Jay at this time, bro? Because their family is there, their friends are there, bro. everyone's there. I'm like, fuck. I was genuinely, like, genuinely legit. Nothing else was occupying my mind. Mm -hmm. Nothing else, bro. Eish. Mr. Condon. Whoa! Who's that? Mr. Condon. Adrian! Fucking liar. Of course he lies for a living. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, now let's make work once I say, I want dimples. So. So, bro. We only sakaja, we only sakaja. We sakaja. Bro, that was crazy, bro. Wait, I know for the, sure. Did they have like the ladies who bring her from the home? It was just these dancers who brought her. No, she had the ladies, bro. Okay. Like so, so and then Jay, she was, like dressed so up the and dudes, everything. the dudes, Jay was completely at the back. Then the dudes were in front. So, mm -hmm. you, like from looking, like in front of him, you couldn't see him. Then even Whitney was at the back. Then it was dancers. Then the ladies. Okay. Ooh. Then it was a whole exchange, bro. Yeah. It was a whole ex a good thirty minutes it was just a whole exchange until mm -hmm. now the bride and the groom finally. We are. Who are on your front line? Mr. Karike. Poj. And then so, these motherfuckers would be so excited the previous night. What are out of line? Just make sure the booze is not there today before Mwangi will not wake up. Hey. Bro, this was so much fun. Mm -hmm. Bro, just I think experiencing culture sometimes is very, it's very, it's very yeah. interesting. It's important. Man, I had so much fun, bro. That's I had fun. so That's much dope. fun. See the photos. So you seen the picture? Some of the I'm pictures. I'm saying I'll see. I'll see after oh, you're done, yeah. Um, I'll I do videos. I just have one video. Uski, he was engrossed <laughs> in that moment. Yeah, I, mean, I, was, I was sucked in, bro. I literally <laughs> have that. So you'll say 30 minutes of dancing. You'll pick one minute. I'll have to experience it. But even this one, yeah. the track was so hard. I was like, shit, I need to get this. So I recorded a bit of it. But like it was so dope to see. Yeah. It was very hard to take out my phone. Like, you yeah. don't even think about it. I hear you. But it was, yeah. bro, man, Beautiful. I had so much fun. But you danced so cool. in a T-Farm. 
Oh, so that was us driving back. <laughs> hey, best that, moves that, I've that, seen, that, bro. That right? goes hard. Ah, fuck. It goes hard. My bio actually needs to read Dancer. <laughs> that's a lie. That's, that's officially my new book. <laughs> hey. If you put Dancer, put Liar next to it. <laughs> <laughs> that is called freestyle get dancing. Podcaster Dancer Liar. liar. <laughs> Your niggas just dance other moves from other people. I have my own moves. Have you seen those moves from anyone else? It. The worst. <laughs> Zero over ten. No, that was fun, bro. Would not trick. Uh, hey, and there was a hot babe. <laughs> that was I'm okay, I'm at a cocoa barbara. And she's done took that picture, so <laughs> for you. Like, was, was she on the photo as well? <laughs> I can never confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think uh, I think that's a good point to end it. No, truly. congratulations to our checkmate, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Na John alisema ongee kizungu mingi that's why i've said it intentionally because yeah. yeah he likes so the show. Exactly. so basically man kiswahili exactly that's something it was intentional oh. i said it intentionally okay. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but anyway episode 87 we, we are, are my, my check, check. <laughs> This is the Fraga Podcast. This is the Brunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Fraga Podcast. The mics are closed. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs>